Richard Reeve talked to Lee's mother and he's live in our newsroom with the story. Rich? Well, Allison, this is the kind of nightmare outcome that every parent fears. Jessica Lynn Lee went missing months ago. Now, this had happened before, Lee wandering away from her suburban Baltimore home for days at a time. But tonight, Lee's family is trying to cope with her violent death. For Ann Burke playing with her granddaughter, Megan, these should be the happiest of times. Why somebody will hurt my child? Instead, Burke learned Friday from police her 20-year-old daughter, Jessica Lynn Lee, missing since early May, is a homicide victim. She wouldn't hurt a fly. She would not hurt nobody. So I can't understand why somebody would hurt her. Lee, known as Jesse to her family, was last seen May 8th at this Brooklyn Park grocery store just blocks from her home. Then on August 6th, a horrific discovery in some nearby woods. I found it quite hard to believe. I thought maybe it was Halloween deal. A homeless man found a partly decomposed human head. A cadaver dog found other remains close by. Only now DNA evidence confirms the remains were Lee's. It's just sad and it's heart, it's heart wrenching to know that somebody that young has been killed. For months, family members had been dealing with the unknown. They put up missing person posters, Lee's bright smile in the middle. A young mother, developmentally disabled, trusting of others. It's horrible, I didn't know. Friends had tracked the case on Facebook, hoping for a positive outcome. Many learning late Friday that Lee had been killed with blows to the upper body. It just really hits my heart, like makes me want to cry. Now a 16 month old girl has lost her mother and a grieving family is searching for answers. We need to find who did this to her, please. Until we get justice, then I'm not going to give up. Now, Ann Burke says she knows of no one who would deliberately hurt her daughter. She believes a stranger did this. The hardest thing, she says, will be in the future, trying to explain to her granddaughter about what's happened. Live in the newsroom, Richard Reeve, ABC 7 News. All right, that's tough. Thank you. Thank you, Rich.